Hey guys, so this is Pooch. We're gonna do kind of like a Boo the Pomeranian kind of cut on him, but it's a little bit longer. So I'm going to start by taking my Bruvira. As you guys saw in my video yesterday, I absolutely love this for these smaller guys. I'm going to set it to a 40 because I just really like how that does on their hair. And we are gonna get to work. So I'm just gonna start up here by the neck and just go down. I love these haircuts because they're super cute looking, but they're really easy at the same time. So it looks like you really did something fancy, but it wasn't too hard, you know? So just gonna kind of go with his growth pattern, knock a lot of this hair off, and then we start doing the fine tuning. You guys will get to see, I think he normally gives me a little sass for his nails, so I'll show you guys what I do and why the hound hammock is so perfect for dogs that don't like their nails being done. Get you, Poochie. Poochie is so cute. We have really become friends, haven't we, Pooch? That's what I think. He's like, you know what, I, I could really care less about you, Grimmer Lady. That's fine, you're still my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna go. This is the beauty of this haircut. You can just go right in like that and it blends in from the face. Look at that, we're already blended. Isn't that so nice? I just kind of go right there, blend it straight in. And if you're trying to figure out, like I've done pooch several times, so I know exactly what length I do, but if you're trying to figure it out, I like to, um, go with a length longer. I usually in my head know what the length is gonna be, but I always go like one length longer just in case I'm off a little bit. Um, turn it this way, there we go. Good boy, Poochie. Um, but yeah, normally if, uh, when I go in, I just start with like a little bit longer, so that way if I, you know, like I said, I was off a little bit and thought like, oh, this will be a good length, but it actually was like a little too short. You know, that way I have like, you know, I've tried out a different length first, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna go straight off of his face and just right across like that. Easy peasy, huh, Poochie? Okay. posted him earlier today asking what kind of mix he is. I'm not sure off the bat. The front body, if you look, you see how like bow-legged he is? It kind of reminds me of like a Pekingese or something. I think he's down as maybe a long-haired Chihuahua mix, but I'm not sure. He's just like kind of bow-legged, so that's why I think he was my, his body shape kind of reminds me of a Pekingese, but I don't know. It's hard to say. He definitely looks like long-haired Chihuahua, and his fur is almost Pomeranian-like. I don't know, I'd be interested in seeing a DNA test on Pooch. He's so cute, aren't you, Pooch? Aren't you, Pooch? Okay, I'm gonna turn you. There we go, Let's blow some hair at y'all. All righty. And he's not neutered, say hello. <laughs> Y'all didn't know you were going to get to see some dog balls today, did you? Highlight of your day, isn't it? Highlight of my day. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, honestly, if you haven't groomed a dog with balls or if you're not used to dogs with balls, it took me some getting used to because I was raised in a family that we fixed everything. Um, so I was not used to seeing unneutered males until I got much older really until I started grooming, because even when I worked at Camp Bow Wow, they had to be fixed to come, so you just didn't see that many sets of balls. But when you groom, you see lots of balls. So if you're uncomfortable with dog balls, um, grooming may not be the best thing for you. <laughs> All right. Easy peasy, Mr. Poochie. 
All right, so now I'm gonna grab my combs. I love to keep my like fancier combs and this little Utsumi thing. So yeah, I was preparing because I wanted to do a favorites video for you guys. I have all the stuff laid out over here, um, but my client that was scheduled after Pooch, they were actually scheduled for one o'clock and they showed up at like one or 12.30. So I had to kind of stop what I was doing and work on her real quick because her mom is, uh, she really likes her to be like rushed in and out. So I do my best with that. But Pooch was here first, fair and square. So, let me put like this. There you go, good boy. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab this, I'm gonna brush it, take my chunkers, and just blend these cheeks. You can kind of do this stuff right here if you want. Super easy. Isn't that nice, Poochie? I'm just gonna brush that down behind the ear. Okay. Same thing over here. cuts because they're so cute but they really um, are not difficult at all. Okay now that I got that how I wanted it, I'm just gonna run them over one more time with the clipper right here just to really make sure we're all even. You can even, I have like this Chris Christensen I've been using it on him that's why there's hair on it. I used it when I dried him Okay, you can brush all that up. And then just go over it again to smooth you out, Mr. Poochie. You're looking handsome, fella. Looking real handsome, Poochie. Good boy. Yeah, you're so handsome. Oh my goodness. Okay. Looking good. All right, so next, I'm going to shave the sanitary. <sighs> Try to remember to keep your table clear, especially if you're gonna be putting your elbows down on it, just to save yourself from some hair splinters. Just a word to the wise. So we gonna get a little up close and personal poochie. Make sure you're on a 10. That's why I love this Bravira. I can do everything all at once. I like to kind of take this up a little bit so that when they go potty, they don't accidentally go on themselves. I'm kind of doing the splits, Pooch. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully lift this leg up. Get my 10, shave the family jewels. Just gonna kind of keep an eye on the time. So like I said, I do have that other client that likes for her dog to be kind of in and out, but she showed up early on me today, so um, I hadn't. I had these guys planned because the small dogs grooms on average take me about two hours, just depending. Um, this guy will probably take me a little less. You can kind of. Like a check back here. Go like that. Okay. Good boy pooch. Okay. 
And I'm gonna turn him towards you guys and do the same thing, a little less personal. You get to look at the cute end while I do this. Look how cute. Look how cute. Oh my, oh, you get that smile. Oh my lord, he's so cute, Poochie. Okay. When you're lifting these kind of guys' legs, I always like lift above the knee because these guys a lot of times will have that, like those knees that pop out, especially because he's a little chunky. Just a little chunky, huh, Poochie? You little chunk. Okay. Yeah, if you're um, not comfortable with dog balls and you want to groom, I would get real comfortable because you're going to be all up in them. <laughs> Okay, and they did request his tail to be trimmed a little bit. So I'm gonna take my big 17. Is it just a 17? Yes, 017 or 17, I guess. Um, comb. I'm gonna brush all that down. I'm just gonna go up and grab these 7.5 inch curves and just take off all of that. Super easy. What do you hear, Poochie? What do you think? What did you say, Pooch? <laughs> you said you're a good boy. Okay, so now I got the sanitary and the hair and everything I want it. I'm going to do the hound hammock. What do you think, Pooch? He's like, I think not. I think I'm just going to lay down and we're not doing that. I feel ya. What do you think, Pooch? Alrighty. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, you are not putting me in that thing. Oh, I so am, Pooch. He said, no, bitch. No, you don't, lady. Crazy groomer. There we go. Good boy, Poochie. All right, so same technique as yesterday. I take my little doohickey and put that up. If he was wearing a noose, I would take it off right now, but I don't even put him on one because he doesn't even try to go anywhere and the noose gets in my way anyway. Same thing, picking him up above the knee. Don't want to pop anything out. Okay, look at him, he looks so regal. Pooch, you are just a snazzy guy. All right, all right, all right. Now, he's a heavy one, so here we go. Right, Pooch? And, yeah. <laughs> and then do the back end. These guys testing out my muscles, huh? Okay, let me see if I can get... You hear the little guys out there? Like crazy pooch. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see everything. Because he does like to give me a hard time for his nails, if I remember right. I just do it. I'm just gonna get further back. I really want you guys to be able to see his face and everything. <laughs> That's probably good, right? Okay. I'm gonna start off with the, the paw pads because his uh, nails aren't super long. I like to do this too when they have these like kind of grinchy feet because I like to kind of get um, some of this extra hair out before I start dremeling so I don't accidentally catch it in the dremel. Okay, I'm gonna pull this table out. 
Here we go, Pooch, you ready? We're going Pooch here, oh my lord. There you go. Okay. Let's do a front foot, see how we feel. Good boy, Poochie. And I use a uh, 40 on the ball pads. That's just my preference. You don't have to use a 40. I know some people use a 30. I've tried a 30 and I just don't think it makes it look as clean. I don't dig into the paw pad either. Just kind of take the hair off the top. All right, pooch. Here we go. Okay. Remember your face mask? No groomer slung over here, right, pooch? You guys, I went to Starbucks today, and um, make sure you mix up your matcha so you don't get a mouthful of powder laid up. Um, but anyway, they were out of pink drink, so I ordered my matcha, and they accidentally made it too big. So I got a Trenta size matcha, but I only paid for a uh, venti. So, all right, here we go. Watch the face and see if you can tell the reaction. Hey, boy, Pooch. Hey, boy. He will bite. <laughs> but as you can notice with that chunky neck, he's not going to be able to get me with the hound helmet. He said, Don't call me chunky, you're rude. You're rude. Good boy, Poochie. Okay. Good boy. You're being so good, Pooch. Do you know you're on camera? I thought for sure I'd, wow, I'll drum on my own finger. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd uh, be able to show you guys like a, how he gets a little sassy for nails. But we're almost done with the front seat and he hasn't reacted at all. Pooch, are we becoming friends? He said, I tolerate you, honestly. We did. That was fast. Pooch, that was fast. We are fast people, aren't we? How long has this been? Only 20 minutes and we're almost done. Oh my god. Pooch, we're on a roll. We are breezing through this, aren't we? Good boy, Pooch. All right, that's it. No damage done on my thumb, if you were wondering. <laughs> do you guys do that? You accidentally dremel on yourself and you're like, wow, I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. That's me. All right. 
I have this stuff laid out. I think I'm going to record a favorites video today, but I don't think I'll upload it until tomorrow. All right. So next, I'm going to take this little thing. Push these little things up. Love these E3 shears, these six inch chunkers for feet. Oh my God, I've been obsessed with them for feet, especially on these like little teeny guys. Oh my God, it works like a dream. I'm obsessed with these, Pooch. Obsessed. What do you think, Pooch? He said, I think that you need to hurry up and be done with me so I can be away from you. Okay, pooch. Same thing. I've talked about this before, like how I like to kind of go across. I feel like I can see better. Okay, I'm gonna do back foot. Brush up and just lightly. Don't dig in when you do your chunkers. I just brush it up in anything that uh, sticks up. I um, just trim that. If he, you hear him grunting, he does that all the time, like even when he's not in this thing. So don't think it's the hound hammock that's making him grunt like that. Life makes him grunt, huh? Sometimes I get immune almost to this ham hound hammock because I get so used to seeing him in it. But then I'll be recording myself and I look over at this dog just like flying in the air and it's literally so funny. This stuff on this back, I believe it's called their hawks, back here, I just brush it up, scissor it close. It tends to just get mud and grow stuff in it anyway and sometimes I'll get mad in back there even. I don't think his hair texture would. He's got good hair texture. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do this arm too. But I am gonna use the longer ones for that since I'm working on a longer thing. And I'm just gonna take this. I'm oh, sorry, my arm is blocking it, but I'll show you better on the other side. Um, just take it even with their arm. This is why I like to go over their body first so I can have a guide of how short I want it. Pooch, you didn't even show them that you can be a little sassy boy for your nails. He said, I'm an angel. She's trying to frame me. Good boy, Pooch. He said, yeah, you see this groomer trying to lie about me and say that I'm not a good boy when I'm actually the best boy? Pooch, did I do you dirty? Dirty pooch in it. He's like, I'm a good boy. <laughs> you are a good boy, Poochie. I love you. I always get excited when I see a Poochie's on my schedule. Do you get excited when you know you're coming to me? He said, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Done with that side. Check across, see if there's anything we missed. Nope, looking good, looking good, pooch. Oh my gosh, wow, you're just so fancy. <laughs> he just looks so unused up there. He's got a grumpy kind of looking face. I think it's just like how his mouth is shaped. He like just naturally looks grumpy. Good boy. So are you guys having a busy week in your grooming shops? It's busy over here. I, um, typically since I'm a newer groomer, I don't usually book the whole week out, but I'll usually, you know, have the first couple days of the week that will be filled out and just kind of go as the week goes on. But this week, um, I'm, I literally have dogs every day through, uh, Friday. So I think it's because um, 
it's really starting to get warm and nice here. Are you guys finding that too? I don't get a ton of, um, you know, the yearly shave downs here. I really don't. I kind of think that's a good thing because I do not enjoy that at all. I don't like when I have dogs that come in and they're in terrible shape and I don't like having shape, shave dogs. I like having cute ones for my portfolio. We do cute trends over here, don't we, Poochie? All right, and the last foot. You're doing such a good job. I think he just hears the other dogs and stuff and he's just listening and watching. So good. It makes me laugh because the first time he came, I knew, like, I could tell he was sassy. So I was, like, almost a little scared of him. Like, I was like, huh, this dog might bite me. And I think if I pushed my luck, he probably would. But I don't know even. We really, um, even at this point, like, with uh, getting him out of the corner and stuff, I have a feeling that if I just tried to go in and grab him out of the corner, I could. In fact, I just did it like a few minutes ago. I just, he was in his corner and I just reached down and pick him out. But I think when he first gets here, that's when he's probably more likely to like actually try to bite me or something. If I tried to get, grab him out of his corner. Okay, let me see if I can do this so you can see this time. Let me move this over. You see this kind of stuff that's sticking off right here it's kind of hard to can you see it you see it with my hand right there okay so that's the stuff i want gone see so we're just gonna take it right off you know i was noticing and maybe somebody can tell me if there's any truth to this i'm noticing like my higher quality shears don't hold hair in it like these do i mean these are not like low quality, these were like 100, like 180 or 160 bucks or something. But I noticed these hold a lot more hair, but like these don't seem to hold as much hair. I don't know if there's anything to that, like if that has to do with like the quality of the shear or something, if that helps the hair not stick in it. I really don't know. But I was noticing that, especially like going back and watching my video from yesterday. Um, I just noticed that there didn't seem to be a lot of hair left in my scissors. I like to do their arms and stuff when they're in here because I find most dogs kind of tuck their arms so I can get the best angle when they're just up in this hound hammock like this. It's just the easiest, isn't it, Poochie? It's so easy for you to say, bitch. Feel ya. I feel ya, Poochie. All right. Push him back into the wall. All right. I'm gonna have to reset this up. Let's see how that goes. Let's him down. Or do you want to see? I guess I can show you how I get them down real quick. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to put my arm under like this. I need to kind of keep that so you can see up here. Okay, so I'm going to grab the back end first. Now I've got his weight with my arm. And down we go. Come on. going to do the finishing touches. So brush up, flip her down. You hear that little grunt? That's what I mean. He like just does those little grunts all the time. Really getting in there. This is 
where I really want to smooth them out. Start from the front and work my way to the back. Oh, sorry, pooch, make you fall over. Didn't mean to make you fall over. Can you turn this way so I can see? Thank you. Such a good boy. And go backwards like that. So I want this underneath to be shorter. Same thing over here, going in reverse, because I want this to be shorter under his belly. You can also grab uh, the next guard down if you want to. I do that as well. But um, just for convenience and time's sake, I'm going to just do this one. So I'm going to see if I can get him to, if he can stand. There we go. He can stand. You can kind of tell, like, if he was wobbly at all and couldn't stand, I wouldn't make him. <laughs> Where's that face you're making? Oh my gosh, Pooch, you kill me. You kill me, Pooch. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but it's been a good, good week for grooming over right here. I'm very thankful, aren't we, Poochie? I like to just go in the armpit. Get all that evened out. Good boy. Okay. I'm going to do the rest of this body. Brushing up. Like so. Just be gentle with this Chris Christensen. You can brush burn them if you are a little too rough with it. It's not a brush that you're meant to kind of go ham with. Really, you shouldn't be going ham like that with any brush, but just saying. With these longer bristles, it's really easy to accidentally brush burn somebody and we don't want to do that. There we go, on time, 32 minutes. Pooch, we're doing so good. Probably because I know that other dog is here and I don't, I want to make sure she's done before her mom shows up, you know. She's one that, if I tell her two hours, that means she will be here two hours on the dot. <laughs> Good boy, Poochie. I like on these little guys too. You see, I haven't even scissored his britches. I mean, I can. Like, you can kind of go like this, and did you see above? I saw it too. Kind of, kind of go like that. Just like this little stuff right here, just to neaten it up just a tiny bit more. Um, but that's not even really necessary. Just watch the the family jewels. Okay. I'll flip you back this way. Alrighty, good boy, Poochie Pooch. Good boy, Pooch Pooch. Isn't this cut so adorable? Oh, I love. Honestly, I think if I had a dog like this, I'd probably keep it in a cut similar to this. It grows back just fine. I've never, because I know, like, typically they're like, don't clip these double coated breeds and, like, I think he probably qualifies double coated. I mean, yeah, but he never even really has much undercoat, and I really haven't had any issues. Like, he always looks fine. I mean, you guys saw him. 
when before I got started, his hair doesn't look damaged in any way. Does it poach? I said I have beautiful hair. He's so handsome, Hooch Pooch. When he got here, he pooped, and he's a walker while he poops. So we had poop everywhere, Poochie. How come you couldn't just stay in one spot, huh? He said, don't tell me how to live my life. Don't even tell me, woman. You don't know me. Okay, and then the last final touch, I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm just gonna scissor this little teeny bit, watching the gonads. And you're like, how many different ways is this girl gonna say balls? Um, I have a couple more. We could do testicles, testes. <laughs> Doggy dolls. And you can kind of any of this stuff that could potentially hang down while he's pooping. I'm gonna scissor it up. Alright. I think you look good. I am gonna try to scissor a little bit around this front chest area. See if I can smooth it out a little more. You know what I'm gonna do? Under his chin, I'm actually gonna drop down. See, he's kind of got a chunky neck. You see what I mean? Like how it kind of folds like that. So I think if I take it a little shorter, maybe it'll look, make him look a little thinner. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna thin you up, make you look like you lost a few pounds at the groomer, huh? See if that helps with your old, your little double chin there, boy. better, huh? Look, you have a neck. Look at you. All right, and for the final touch, hmm, what do we think, Pooch? I'm thinking dark blue. I think that's cute. Okay. These are nice because they have like this little clasp like this. You just pop it down like this so it looks like that. And you slide it out. And then you can kind of... Dude, she got a big neck. Damn, bitch. You're almost too big for this bow tie. Oh, you're tired, huh? You didn't even have to do anything. There we go. And voila, very beautiful. Oh, you're so handsome, Poochie. Poochie, look at you. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh my goodness, a little chunky neck. And there he is. I accidentally hit the stop button. <laughs> so it just kind of stopped on us, but look, we so fancy. Oh my goodness, okay, look. And down we go. There we are. Ooh. Pooch, look at you. Are you so fancy? He said, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we will see you in the next one.